Hey, what's up guys? Uh, the results are in for day one, Pokemon Sleep Good Sleep Day. Uh, I've got this pre-recorded, so we're going to go through the bonuses that we got on the first day of Good Sleep Day. Everything seems to be going according to plan, uh, exactly as the developers had said, except for one point that I'm going to make at the end of the video regarding two sleep sessions versus one sleep session. So you can see here that I got um, 12 million drowsy power. And it's to do with, and you can click this button yourself, uh, it's to do with the bonus 1.5 times uh, of the good sleep day. So this will confirm that the bonus has been applied. Now I would recommend that you guys aim for a higher sleep score. I just usually don't get that many hours of sleep. So you guys should try and get even higher than this, uh, eight and a half hours, then you would really stack up the, that drowsy power at the end. Here were my sleep styles for the day. Got one three star Pikachu. That was the yellow circle from earlier on. So I'm talking about this thing here. Sometimes people ask me what that is. So that's what that is, the three star. Got one hungry Pokemon today. And that's to do with my good, uh, good camp ticket. Uh, some people ask me uh, if I just started the game, should I use a good camp ticket? I'd say no, hold on to your good camp ticket, even, even though it is event time. Uh, hold on to your good camp ticket until you build better teams. Then you use your good camp ticket when the next event comes. So you don't have to use it straight away, uh, even if you just started the game this week. Here are my research XP and Dream Shards bonuses. Uh, they are not technically bonuses. According to the Good Sleep Day event, you don't get a multiplier on these. However, because I'm running a good camp ticket at the same time, you'll find that my research EXP is actually a little bit higher as well because I'm getting more sleep styles um, and and observing more Pokemons than usual. So it's not a bad idea to run Focus Incense uh, during the event. However, however, um, if you wait until the end of the week, you actually get a higher research EXP as well. So whether it's actually worth it for you to use it in the middle of the week with the slight bonuses, and that's because the sleep styles have higher star levels. If you've got higher star levels, you're also going to get more research XP, more dream shards. Um, so whether it's going to be better to use it at the end of the week or during the middle of the week, but with a good sleep day event, look, it's, it's up for debate. I personally think focus incense should be used on Sunday night, even compared to a good sleep day event. Um, but that's just a personal opinion. We, we don't have stats to back that up, but just something, but regardless, if you use it, if you use a focus incense, which means doubles your research EXP, whether you use it on the, times two research, uh, times two drowsy power day. So the middle of the three day event, the second day, or use it at the end of the week. I think, I don't think you're going to lose out on much. I think you're still going to be winning compared to using a focus incense on a regular day. Definitely don't use a focus incense at the start of the week. So just know that the focus incense it, it, the, sorry, the good sleep day does not directly apply a multiplier to research EXP. It applies a EXP multiplier to Pokemons, which means growth incense is the best time to use during good sleep day event. And we're going to go to go through that in a moment as well. So you can see here, I have a times two bonus on the Pokemons EXP gained. And that is not research EXP. So just be aware of the difference. And Good Sleep Day does multiply that by two. In fact, it multiplies that by three on the second day of the Good Sleep Day event. And if we click on the little exclamation mark, uh, you'll see that the multiplier is applied. Now there's one thing we still haven't confirmed, but based on the text, bonuses for individual Pokemon will be triggered separately. It means that if you have times two from the event, but also times two from an incense, you're not getting times, you're not getting the same multiplier as though the multipliers are being stacked. So, so for example, now we can't do times two and times two because two plus two is four and two times two is four. But let's say hypothetically that's tomorrow and we have times three. And then we also have an incense that is times two, 
So let's say times three times two, you're actually, according to the text here, you're actually going to get times five in bonus, not times six in bonus. It's a sort of a additive multiplication, not a multiplied multiplication. Anyway, that's just a detail. Um, the important thing is, it, you know, if you miss out on the stack, you know, you're not you're not losing out on, on as much as you think, according to that text. But we're going to check it out today at the end of um, the next sleep, my next sleep. We're going to see whether the incense truly stacks as an ad addition multiplier or if it's a multiplied multiplier. And... Don't forget that there's also the bonus sleep points, 500 for the first day, 1,000 for the second day, and another 500 on the third day. So these are all correct. And as promised, we're going to go back and look at which incenses you should be using um, on Good Sleep Day event. So the one that I do recommend is the one that doubles the helper's EXP. But I should clarify one more time, it may not be as good as you think um, because if it's not a multiplied effect, then it's the same as using it any other day. <laughs> so this is a confusion we still haven't gotten over until we do some, some more sleep data collection. Um, the other one that you can use then is Focus Incense, but you have to compare it whether it's better to use it now or when your actual research EXP is going to be a fair bit higher during the end of the week because your rank is higher. So your rank, this thing here is higher. Therefore, higher rank sleep styles will show up. So is it actually sensible to use it now? It depends on your drowsy power. If your drowsy power is highest during the sleep event, then it might be better to use it now. If your drowsy power actually will end up being higher at the end of the week, it doesn't make sense to use it now. Uh, a friend incense is also a good consideration because you're going to get better ranked Pokemon, better, better, better variety of Pokemon during the event, but only better than a regular day or a regular day that is not in it during the event. So again, it's another one where, well, actually you might want to use it at the end of the week. So it doesn't make sense to use all of this during the good sleep day event. Well, that's up to you. It is a reasonable one to use again. Um, but I would say that if you have a good sleep camp ticket running where you're already guaranteed uh, extra hungry Pokemon, um, this might not be absolutely necessary. If you want two hungry Pokemon, if you've got enough biscuits, then, then go for it. Recovery Incense is probably the only one you don't want to be using, and that's because you're supposed to be sleeping eight and a half hours anyway to max out the stats and should recover your Pokemon's energy fully without the need for recovery incense. And Luck Incense is once again similar effect as the uh, Focus Incense I was talking about. It really depends on whether the end of the week is better on Sunday night or whether it's the middle of the week on Thursday night where the, the drowsy power is times two that of a regular Thursday or times Sorry, yeah, times two on a Thursday, times 1.5 on a, on a Wednesday. Thursday times two, Wednesday times 1.5. Uh, regardless, I'd say you're not losing out on much if, if you decide to use one of these incenses. So you're still going to be winning regardless. Hopefully this video helps you. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I also respond quickly on Discord if you want our community to help you as well. We've got a lot of players on Pokemon... Uh, on our Pokemon Discord now. I'll leave a link in the description below and follow us over there.